Hi guys, <clears throat> just a short video um, about fitting my next base dash cam to a uh, 2017 Mustang EcoBoost convertible. Um, bit of a, an odd one, not many videos on this one due to the rarity of um, convertibles. Uh, but this is a camera I went for, this is an next base uh, 322, currently on offer in Alphas for 99 quid. I think normally retails at 129, somewhere around there. Um, this can be hardwired using this kit, which is extra. I think it was 19, 19.99, I think. Or you can just connect it to your uh, cigarette lighter. Obviously, I wanted it neater, so um, I went for the um, hardwired, which is where the fun started. Um, the camera itself um, is small, it's discreet. I put mine behind. The rear view mirror, which I'll show you shortly, just so it's not distracting when I'm driving. Um, so yeah, I'll show you the car and how I fitted it. So this is the car it's fitted to. Um, scoot around the driver's side. Okay, so... Um, this is where I have mine located, stuck to the glass there, and driving position, that's the sort of view you get from there, so you, you can't really see it hanging down. Um, the wiring, now the um, trim on the convertible is solid on the A-post and on this part here. Um, I think on the coupe it's more of a flexible or it can be popped off, but this one is really connected so it's a case of trying to squeeze the wire in um, so the way I, did, uh, way I did it is you see the wire there uh, actually behind there there is a gap and you can see that um, and basically what I did was um, got myself enough slack here about I don't know four inches maybe and then literally use my fingers to tuck it up there is you can prise it away. You do get a little plastic tool with the um, with the kit, so you can sort of push that in and pull it down, and then push the wire in. So the wire is pushed all the way in. There's a, a bigger gap here actually. It goes quite narrow, but it's, it gets quite wide there. Um, around this corner, and then again, just pushing in with the tool and with my finger down there to that far corner. There, you can just see the gap. In the body, in the um, dashboard there, where the wires forced it apart, that was caused by pushing the wire in with the tool of my fingers again. Um, it's not too noticeable. This bit's spongy, so it's quite easy to push the wire in around there. And then we came down the side, so you can just see the wire here. That's the only bit that's visible. And it's tucked in behind the weather strip all the way down and then um, I popped off this that comes off quite easily just prise it off with your fingers as does this part the corner this part and then obviously the um, fuse box cover is held on with a screw uh, finger screw so you can undo that with your fingers so basically get all the trim off um, I shall put photos on the fuse board which is where the fun started as I mentioned um, the fuses on this are micro 2 blade fuses so you do need to make sure you've got the right piggyback for that which I had to order um, Halfords did them I did get one from there eventually but I did order in error a micro blade too not a mic sorry mic not a micro too I ordered just the micro from um, Amazon that came in it was the wrong type so Halfords to the rescue they had a spare one and, and I got that um, yeah so I'll put pictures on um, of that I'll speak to you soon thank you